Today we're going to be talking about Miller's line of self-loading wheel lifts. They're offered with several different options and several different configurations. Our home's 440, which is the most economical unit Miller Industries builds in the way of self-loaders. It is available in steel. It has 74 inches of reach off of the tailboard. It has a four-piece plated extension. It has a four-piece lower unit. It's got a four-piece welded together boom. The Gen 1 crossbar has a three inch pin, greasable. All jaw bushings are greasable. The crossbar is our Gen 1 crossbar with exposed cylinders with counterbalance valves built onto the cylinders. The cylinders attach directly to the L-arm. There is no mechanical lock. There is no remote counterbalance valve. The counterbalance valve on the cylinder attaches to the L-arm, creating anywhere the L-arm stops, it locks. It does not have to be all the way open or closed to lock. The hose tracking system is on the passenger side. It has two hoses going through a set of pulleys up onto the side of the boom on the top of the deck, keep, keep, keeping them out of weather and for easy service. Comes with one 8,000 pound winch, dolly storage, because deck space is at a premium. We're able to tuck the dollies in and yet still have the visibility sight line coming down here to see a car being hooked up. Now electron wear pads on the 440 and on the 810 hold the boom in the pocket. The cylinder is mounted on a spherical ball, creates the cylinder end so it doesn't ever snap off and yet lets the boom travel to keep the car in play. The 810 and the 440 come with dual chain pockets built into the tailboard, D-rings on the tailboard. The Holmes 440 and the Vulcan 810 come standard with dual toolboxes, again largest in the industry. The unit comes standard in steel, non-power tilt. There are options for power tilt. There are also options for power tilt with limiting switches. Notice when we unfold the wheel lift, it unfolds and stops at a point that when we bring it down to the ground, it is almost level or about a two degree negative tilt. When loading a car, it's simply lower it to the ground, close the arms around the tires, lift the automobile up, and tow it away. So as we're lowering the wheel lift to the ground, notice it stops wherever the switch is adjusted to, even though my thumb has not let off of the switch. If I let off and hit it again, it will go beyond center. The same way the tilt, as I unfold, it will stop automatically at whatever we have the tilt adjusted to, usually two or three degree negative. All self-loading products are able to self-center a vehicle and load at 90 degrees, allowing for the safe loading of a parallel park vehicle. The Holmes 440 and the Vulcan 810 come standard with spacer socks for the crossbar. Optional attachment for them are motorcycle attachment. And now you know.